Hey everyone, Cody here. And today I'll be doing a scrape painting. I had actually tried to do an abstract landscape and it turned out terrible. So I don't know how these guys pull it off. It's not as easy as it looks and I give props to anybody who can do that uh, for a living. So today we're gonna be doing a scrape painting. I've actually got two brown colors that we're gonna be using for the background. So we're gonna paint it kind of two different browns and then we're gonna go over it with red and yellow. But the thing is, is that with the red and the yellow, um, I'm thinking that maybe we do uh, red part of the way and then yellow, and then kind of go over it with black and see where that gets us. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, get our paint on there. That sounds great, sounds great. And we'll go ahead and put that on the top, put this on the bottom. And we'll spray it down. All right, so let's go ahead and get this paint spread out here. We'll move it there. Move that out. And it's real thin, which is nice because it's going to give us some nice coverage without using a lot of paint which we don't need a lot. Um, we really just need it to kind of cover the, uh, the surface here so that when we scrape the painting, it's not um, white, essentially. All right, so we're gonna pull that out. Now, if you've ever wanted to learn to blend colors, essentially the way that you would do it is you would put the colors near each other and then you would pick up a little bit of each one and just kind of do this. and you would just kind of work them together. And you would just kind of do like an S or a wave or some kind of motion that would pull them together. Now this was, wasn't was the best example because they weren't kind of next to each other. Um, and I picked up a lot of the other color, but you could just kind of go back and kind of do this and kind of work them into each other if you really wanted to blend because as you go back into the other color it's going to die off and that's how you do it all right so let's go ahead and uh, run these colors all the way over and now we've got a nice kind of a uh, nice fade which i want to get this edge here You can hear my kids fighting a little bit, of course. Just want to fight as soon as I paint. Why not? Okay, so there we go. You've got a nice uh, fade. And there's something in there. Let's see, get that bad boy out of there. Get out of there. Okay, cool. And, you know, ironically enough, this is the start to a decent abstract painting. Believe it or not, some people would uh, probably sell a painting like this by itself but not me. Okay, now that we've got that on there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our colors onto um, our canvas here. So I will go ahead and put them right on the canvas so we can kind of measure uh, how much paint we're actually using. So I'm gonna use, I'm not gonna use this bright red because I don't have a lot of it, so I don't think I have enough. Um, so I'm gonna switch to this uh, darker cadmium red. So we're gonna put this along the edge we're gonna put a nice thick bead of it. And we'll go about halfway. And then we'll, uh, we're gonna put our yellow on there. Okay, now that we've got those, we can go ahead and scrape it. All right, let's go ahead and get to work. So, always push kind of back to make sure it's all covering the edge. And then we just pull those paints through. All right, 
We kind of went off a little bit only because I was dumb and didn't move this stuff beforehand. All right, now we did get some decent uh, movement on it. However, the paint didn't, didn't pull all the way across, which is fine. We're gonna add layers anyway. So now, now that we have kind of the half and half, I wanna do the rest of the layers. I wanna do black and then white, and I wanna kind of do them um, just all the way across. So we'll go ahead and put our layer of black on there. Nice, kind of thick bead. And then we'll go ahead and scrape that bad boy on there. So I'm gonna apply pretty decent pressure And I completely absorbed the other colors. Where did they even go? That's the question. Wow, I didn't expect that. So, um, well, let's go ahead and add some white. And you know what? We're gonna go ahead and go the other way with it. So we're going to go this way. We're gonna pull it towards us. And maybe that was too much uh, black on there. Could be, could be would make sense. So let's go against the grain here. So we'll make sure we cover the edge. And I'm really gonna push down on it, put a lot of pressure on it and see what happens. It's already, it's already moving the painting. And I did put screws on the table, but only on the side. I suppose if I was smart, I could have just rotated <laughs> the painting. Okay, so I can tell you right off the bat that it's pulling too much of the paint. So it's pushing too hard. You can see that a lot of the paint is coming off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrape that off onto the painting and we're gonna be smart and just rotate it. <clears throat> and I'm not gonna push so hard that it pulls the paint off the canvas just gonna put a little bit of pressure on there Okay, so this painting is getting worse and worse. Um, we're gonna try one more time and we're gonna leave it at that if it doesn't work out. I mean, sometimes it just doesn't. This, uh, I'm not happy with any of this, all of this stuff going on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the red and the black. We're gonna put both of them down. And we're gonna see if we can uh, if we can salvage this bad boy. And I'm just lightweight pouring it through. Okay, that's a lot better. Um, I wouldn't say it's ideal per se or perfect or anything like that. That actually looks pretty cool. Uh, if you can see the different layers that it has on there. That's actually, <laughs> that's probably my favorite part. Um, ultimately, I, I don't really, I'm not a fan um, 
just because some of these colors are weird. I think I'm gonna try one more time. I know, and listen people, I'm not an expert at all this, okay? I'm just showing you what I'm doing. If it turns out great, great. If it doesn't, well, I'm, you know, I'm just one man. So we're gonna try it one more time. I really like the red and black on there. I think that they kind of contribute a lot to the painting. So we're gonna try it one more time. We're gonna see if we can stack these layers and, and make it work. So we'll put our red and black on there. And we're gonna push it out. Okay. And then we're gonna, we're gonna pull it across and see what happens. Okay, uh, it's something. I'm, I'm not immensely happy with it. And there's a stick in there, of course. Always something. Um, I'm gonna leave it alone. It does have an interesting flare at the end. It's only because I ran out of room over here. You know, I don't, uh, my table is so crowded, I swear. Can't, uh, I can't even make it cleaner if I tried. So it's gloss enamel paint. Um, ultimately, I'm gonna go ahead and stop because the layers are just gonna keep compounding and, and kind of mixing. Um, it's an interesting color. It's probably not my favorite because it's very muted. So I don't like the paintings where the colors just kind of run together and they're a little hard to see. Um, I'm gonna give you guys, again, this is kind of the, uh, the scraper, it looks pretty cool. The, the scraper I like. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the overview so you can see it. This is the final piece. And let's see if I can get a thumbnail for it. Okay, cool. Uh, you can see the bottom layers. You can see that amazing stick right there that just came out of nowhere. Um, and then the overall layers with the scrape. Um, and then we've got this little divot over here. Overall, I would say it's kind of a fail, but it is what it is. We'll try it next time. Um, but that's it, guys, for, for the video. So hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, totally understand. But uh, if you did, let me know. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. God bless. And see you then. Bye, guys.